I've always said competition is critical. Without it, we wouldn't have stuff like this. This is the new Hyundai Ioniq 6. And yes, this is a production vehicle remarkably close to the Prophecy concept car. Here's a preview. Hey everybody, I'm Tom Volk. And let me stress, this is a preview, not a review. Nobody's driven the Ioniq 6 and Hyundai hasn't dropped all the specifications, but there are some things that we do know. So let's roll the videotape that Hyundai has provided because this is a very attractive vehicle. I'll share everything I know about it. Hyundai hasn't released any real details, but it is built on the eGMP platform that's underneath the Ionic 5 and Kia EV6. So I think it's safe to assume some things. Under those two cars, there are two different battery sizes and a choice of rear or dual motor all wheel drive. Ranges on the Ionic 5 span from 220 miles to 330. Also, let's not forget that the 800 volt charge speed on the eGMP platform is among the quickest on any production electric vehicle that you can buy today. And let's talk about that body. Hyundai says it's the company's lowest coefficient of drag ever at 0.21. The slight boat tail structure and separation traps on both sides of the rear bumper help. The undercarriage gets optimized deflectors and the wheel arch gap is narrowed. I always reserve judgment on design until I've seen it in person. I have to say, I'm really looking forward to seeing this in the flesh. When you talk to a designer, all of them say it's very difficult to create something very simple like a river rock and keep it interesting. This one has a Porsche-like simplicity to it or very reminiscent of the original Mercedes CLS, which was a stunner in its time. That's not to say this is completely derivative. The pixel details that first showed up on the Ionic 5 are here for sure. Remember that in Morse code, four dots means H for Hyundai. And maybe it's because sister brand Kia got a new logo. The Hyundai folks wanted one too. It's not overly different, but this is a more streamlined version of the Handshake H logo. One of my favorite design elements on this car is the rear brake light chismal. It's an integrated spoiler. Nice touch. No doubt it adds to the aerodynamic efficiency, but it also gives it a Porsche 911 like visual. And while there is no indication of price, I see this as a poor man's Porsche Taycan sedan. The German starts at around $90,000, even if this one is priced a little higher than Ionic 5. Fully loaded, it shouldn't crest past 65 grand because anything higher than that is Genesis brand territory. Let's get into the interior. All of the press releases and video stress nature. The press kit uses a lot of language and visuals that suggest the Aurora Borealis. It looks like the designers and engineers went for that look inside the cabin. I can tell you that the theater-like ambient lighting in the Ionic 5 is very soothing, and that cabin is meant to be comfortable and calming. It appears Ionic 6 is taking that to the next level. There are 64 colors and six dual color themes developed by color experts to help drivers and passengers feel relaxed. Now you might've noticed that there are no side view mirrors and there are monitors inside the car. Hyundai says that's an option and those aren't legal in the US at least yet. So we won't be seeing that in the States. But the dual 12 inch screens fused to look like one are here with a slightly different treatment than the five. That commonality only makes sense financially. Hyundai uses an eco process for the leather and recycled PET fabric will be used for the seats. Bio PET fabric is used for the headliner and bio paint derived from vegetable oils will be used for the doors. Yes, it specifically says for the doors. The carpet will be made from recycled fishing netting. That's everything I know about the Hyundai Ionic 6. At least for now, Hyundai will be dropping full specs soon. So stay tuned for that. No word when the Ionic 6 will hit Hyundai dealerships. Check with them on a regular basis, okay? For the Seattle International Auto Show, I'm Tom Volk.